Welcome to Code with Kurt. The channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we'll be calling a web service to pull in lap times for a Formula One race. Now, I use an API called Ergast Developer API. And in here, it gives you a lot of information about drivers and lap times and specifically we're going to do lap times but they also have a whole bunch of other information about different stuff you can pull in the two apis i'll be calling is the drivers i want a list of the drivers for the, a particular race and the second api i'll be calling is the times so i get each lap time and there i will populate this in a google sheets in a table format so it's all nice and neat in one big table. So there's three inputs we have to do here. We have to do lap times of, I have to show how many laps were in that race. So I can get that information. So I put that 58. They want you to put the number of race for the year. So this particular race, I'm, I'm doing the Turkish Grand Prix. So that's race number 16 and then the year 2021. And then from there, I could run my code here. There it starts going. I can come back over here and you can see it start populating the times for each driver here. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my new Google Sheets. I have it called Web Service Google Sheets up top. I have three sections of data here, laps, race, year. These are all string. And then my numbers are 58 laps, race number 16 in 2021 for the year. These are all numbers, no formulas. And my spreadsheet name is main. Next, I'm gonna go to Google Apps Script. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name. There, next I'm gonna copy in my code. Got my code copied in. Next I'm gonna hit save, like that. Next I'm gonna go through each line of the code to kinda show what's going on. So first I declared my spreadsheet and my spreadsheet name was main right there. Um, the next I'm pulling in my data, my race year, my race number, and my race labs using the main sheet here get value here so I got my three things of data uh, next I'm gonna clear out my previous so if I pulled in data from uh, my previous run I'm gonna clear it all out so I'm gonna start over so next I'm gonna insert my lap numbers so basically I'm gonna take my lap numbers which was 58 set over here 58 I'm going to take this into a for loop and populate it straight across starting on row number seven. So it'll be right here. I'm going to start here and populate straight across, get all my row numbers in. And then this flush here is just to show the update. This is not necessary. You could take it out. Uh, the reason I got it in there is so you can see the sheet populate, but if you want this to run faster, take these flushes out of the screen because this basically just refreshes the screen every time this runs. And you don't need to refresh it, it'll really slow it down. So you can take it out to speed it up or leave it in if you want to see it populate you know, as it's going. Next, I'm doing my first URL API call here. So I'm going to do the drivers first, this drivers tab here. So here I have it over in Postman over here. So I, I'm calling this, I'm calling the JSON format. So I'm getting the JSON format down here below. So that what I'm going for here is the driver ID because for each lap time, I need to use the driver ID to pull each person's lap. So I need all the drivers for the race. So I need their IDs. So I'm going through each, this array uh, in the JSON and pulling all these IDs. So back over to my Google Apps script, here I'm populating the race year and the race number in this API. And then I'm doing my fetch, 
which is calls the fetch, takes the response, puts it in the JSON, and then takes that, parses the JSON, and puts it into an array here, data array, or data object, not array. From there, uh, I'm setting up an array of drivers. I'm going to collect this all into array for myself. So here I'm going to cut through down here. So I'm going to get the length of the driver. So I'm going to this MR data driver table drivers and length. If I go over to Postman, it kind of starts with the hierarchy. This is the first thing I'm calling. Then I have to go to the driver table. Then I have to go to the drivers, which was in array here. And then that's the length I'm getting. I'm getting the length of this array. But within drivers is the driver ID. So I'm getting the length. I'm going to cut through here. And I got my drivers array here. I'm setting that to the drivers here. And then for each one in this, in the drivers, I'm populating the ID, pushing it to my array I got set up for drivers up here. And then from there, I'm setting the value on the table, starting with row eight. And then I'm going down. And this flush is saying I'm updating as I'm going. So again, I'm putting the race laps up here. And then I'm starting eight. I'm putting the drivers down here. So I'm setting the, the X and Y axis here for my data first. And then the last part is getting the lap time. So again, I'm starting with my race laps, which is 58. So I'm going to get lap one here and then here's my URL for the race times so again put in my race year race number and then I have to put my lap time in there and I do have this in postman as well this one which shows all the lap times for each driver so if I cut all the way down here this is where I'm going for here laps timings this is my ID and then this is the time I'm pulling for each one. So we go back to my Google Apps script. Here I have my response back. Go into data JSON and then I'm taking my JSON putting into a data object so I can work with it then. So then I got my lap time array. So I'm going all the way through this MR data race table races laps and timings. So that's all in this postman here. So you gotta start from the top, MR data, race table, races. Again, the races is in array, so I'm just pulling the first one here and then I'm going all the way down here to laps here, lap one, and then timings right here. So I'm cutting through all the way down, got to my timings. I'm going through the driver's length. I'm going through each driver as I'm going through. So back up here where I got my driver's array up here and got my driver IDs. So here I'm setting my first ID here with the Y starting with zero. Um, this is just a console log. This is just an output to see and it happens in the execution log. So this is just for viewer or debugging purposes. Next, I'm getting the lap time, so I'm doing my lap time array here, the length. So for each driver ID, and then the I is the first one in this lap time array. So again, I'm back over here with the first thing right here. I'm down here looking at this data. So if this driver ID equals the driver ID I have stored in my drivers, as I'm going through each driver, then I'm pulling the time right here. So I'm going down, pulling this time right there. And then from there, I am converting it to seconds because I need this in seconds formats. Right now, it's giving me the, the minute, seconds, and then the extra time on the ends. I'm going to convert it all to seconds. So then I do this. This is just JavaScript here. I'm taking the time. Array, split, times 60 to get my uh, plus whatever's left over after this split to get my seconds. And then from there, I'm populating the seconds in my table. 
starting with row eight. It's my first driver, and then I'm going over one and populating the seconds there. Again, I'm doing a flush, and then I'm doing a break, basically because I found my my driver ID here. As I'm passing my drivers, I don't need to go through each one after that. So I break out, starts back up here on this for loop, gets the next driver, finds the lap time, populates. So that's how this all works. Next, I'll run it. So I got my get data here. I'm going to run it just right here in the screen here. So I'm going to hit run. And now it's starting to execute. And what you'll see down here is my console log comments down here as it starts going. Oh, it's going to go through permissions first. So I'm going to review my permissions. Select my account, hit advanced, hit go to web service Google Sheet unsafe. And then I'm going to approve all this. I'm going to allow it. And now it's starting. Execution started. Let's see if it starts kicking in here. There it goes, starting, calling the first one, the driver's one, and now it's starting to kick in. So I go back over my sheet, and now you can start seeing it populating the times as they find them, and then it goes back over, starts going down, and it'll carry straight out all the way over to 58 here. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.